here before you shot it. Yeah, what prevented you from telling Rocky to from protecting yourself from Josh? Locking the door and say, Rocky, let's get out of here. I don't know. You chose to shoot him. Not get out of here. The order in which you chose to do it was shoot him and then get out of there, right? Objection, compound question. No, I had no intention of shooting Josh. The order in which you did it was you shot him and then you told him to get out of there, right? Objection, asked an instant. You didn't tell him to leave before you shot him, Josh. So, the decision not to leave and get away from Josh was a choice that you made. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to yeah. Just like it was a choice that you've made to deal methamphetamine. Correction, they're and just like it was a choice to live in Marshall. Excuse me, Mr. Professor, if you'll give me a chance. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't. I, 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 my mind's going. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And you, you, you didn't. Uh, you went to Marsh's house after the shooting. Right. Uh, You indicated that you had previously lived in California and Florida. <coughs> California and Oregon. And Oregon? Yes, sir. Did, were you here when Don uh, Turpin testified that said that when you talked calling, you indicated you wanted to go to Nevada or California? Yes, I remember that. Did you told him you were from California <coughs> before? Uh, not that I can remember. Was anybody present with you when you bought this, when you this firearm purchase? Yes. Who? Uh, Justin Schdale. Um, I believe Rocky Smith drove us over there. And uh, Drew Rill. Okay, those are the only people that were present when you bought this firearm. Correct. Okay. And you didn't know the name of the guy? You didn't know the name of the person who, who it was purchased from? I was purchased from Drew Russell. From Drew Russell. Correct. Now, how would you characterize your relationship with Rocky? How would you characterize your relationship with Rocky? Before the shooting or now? I'd say yeah. Uh, we haven't spoken to each other in about 25 years. Okay. Now, do you recall who testified? Yes, I did. He testified that you pulled the gun out in one motion and you shot the gun. Um, is there any reason that you're aware of any dispute or angry situation that you have with Rocky Smith that would make him come and swear under oath and lie to the jury? Uh, yeah, there is a situation. Oh, okay. what, 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 what's the conflict you have with Rocky? With Rocky? Well, I don't have a conflict with Rocky. This is a situation where I would say that I did it like that. If he didn't want to put the gun into his hand, and call him. Okay. Was Marsha, did Marsha arrive over at Nicole Smith's house while you were over there at or near the time that you threatened to kill her and her children? Yes, she was. Was she present when you threatened to kill her and her children? Uh, I can't entirely 
remember Marshall was there at the house period at that time period and in the back room when we were discussing it. I don't know if Marshall was there. Uh, Marshall was there at the house at the time period. After she showed up at the house after me and Drew arrived. Okay. Now, Nicole Smith testified that you and she were in business together in dealing with methamphetamine, right? That means Nicole or me and Marshall? You and, you and Nicole? Yes. Okay. And so, to a certain <coughs> extent, you trusted each other, right? To a certain extent, yes. Why, if you didn't intend to kill John, did you think it was necessary to threaten Nicole Smith, who you were in the drug business with, who you trusted, with death to her and her children if they, she ran a job? Could you, could you say that again? Yeah. You're in the dope business with Nicole Smith. Correct. And as a result of that, you guys, there's a certain amount of trust between you two that you're going to be selling this dope and you're not going to rat each other out, right? Right. But on the night after you shot Jock, even though you trusted each other and had this bond of trust over the dope business, you felt this was so serious that you had to threaten Nicole Smith, the person you trusted in your dope business, with death to her and her children if you if she testified against you. Why did why did you feel like you had to do that? Since you already had this bond of trust. I don't believe I had threatened that if she was a testify against me. I believe if I had if I had threatened her that night period, I told her not to tell anybody else. I don't believe I told her not to go to the police or not to testify on me. I believe Are you I mean, say, are you saying that, that she was not telling this le the ladies and gentlemen of the tr of the jury the truth when she said you're going to be laying you and your kids are going to be laying out there with Josh? Say that's a lie. Like I said, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I don't believe it was. I don't believe I said anything about children. Are you Are you saying? Well, now you're saying you didn't threaten your children, but on direct, when your attorney was saying, I might have threatened your children. What was it? I you, might have threatened her at that time period. I, I don't recollect threatening her children. Well, don't you recall when you testified in direct? You said I might have threatened her children to your own attorney. Well, I might have. But you just now said you did. You, you didn't do that. Correct. Now, one other thing. Just just one more question. Nicole Smith said that when you told her that you, quote, accidentally <coughs> shot Josh, that you stripped the car down and they won't find the car. Did you remember her te testifying to that? No, I did not. Well, she did. Okay. I assume for a second she did testify to that, because she did. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, she did testify, testify to that. He's testifying. No, right now. she testified to that, Your Honor. <coughs> okay. Did you, did you recall hearing her testify that when you were giving her this line about it was an accident, do you recall her testifying that in fact you added an additional fact onto your explanation that I'm not really worried about we stripped the car down? Do you remember her testifying to that? No, I'm not. Okay. Do you remember testifying to her about the fact that you threw the gun in the, in the I believe, Table Rock Lake? No, I don't. You don't remember her testifying? Oh, yeah, I remember her testifying to that. I didn't tell her that. That's what she testified to. Yeah. Well, now, this is a gun that you'd use to shoot somebody, right? Correct. Okay. And you just let it float around? Um, at the time period that we showed back up to Pit Stop, last time I'd seen the gun was on the bathroom sink upstairs. Because when we first got back to the Pit Stop, I had gotten sick. I had left the gun on the bathroom sink upstairs. Mandy was hysterical inside the house because I walked out. And Mandy, Mandy was hysterical inside the living room. And I walked out to console her, and she was consoling me, because I was crying at that time period, too. Uh, that was the 
last time I had seen him. And uh, you were there when you showed the gun uh, to your friend, the Barker, right? Yeah. And he put it in his deal. No. Well, are you saying that, that Don Turpin uh, lied to the jury about the kid Barker putting it in his, in his shirt and wiping it off? No, there was times prior to this incident that the gun had been showed at the house, and uh, Nikia might have put the gun into his shirt prior to the incident happening. But after the incident, hey, what? there was times that Nikia was at the house before the incident had happened. That Justin was showing the gun to people at the house to let them know not to rob him. And at that time period, Nikia might have took the gun. He might have gave the gun to Nikia, and Nikia might have wiped. So the key is wiping his fingerprints off a gun before it's ever used to shoot somebody like that. Correct, everybody was, yes. Everybody that held the gun at that time period was wiping them before the incident happened. Why? I just told other people you're going to kill them. That's why they were wiping their fingerprints off of them. No. They were just doing it because they didn't have anything else to do. No, they were just being caught by the well, no further questions. Thank you. Mr. Honor, we need to discuss one other witness issue that we approach. Yep. 